السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته فضيلة الشيخ سيد إبراهيم خليل البخاري Chairman of Medina Academy Honorable Governor of Kerala Excellencies this Distinguished Guests uh, Scholars and Academics Ladies and Gentlemen What a great honor to be part of the Fezenyum Medina Academy's 20th anniversary celebration conference in the beautiful south of Kerala. Let me start by recognizing the chairman of Medina Academy, Sayyid Ibrahim Khalil al-Bukhari, who I thank for his kind invitation to speak on this noble occasion. Sayyid Ibrahim Khalil al-Bukhari is one of the Indians' eminent Muslim personality Hundreds of thousands of people from different parts of the world congregates at annual prayer held under his leadership at Sawalat Nagar every month, especially on 20th night of holy month of Ramadan. His work with underprivileged children is remarkable. Prestigious academia such Medina Academy plays a prime role on the global stage. Located at Swalat Nagar and Malaburam, it has more than 15,000 students and 26 institutions ranging from primary to postgraduate as Medina Academy sets examples in the dissemination of education, it is scaling new heights of success. Medina is at the vanguard of international research collaborations and attracts outstanding universities, research staff, and students from across the globe. It's also Worth noting that Medina has launched an agricultural space project that will equip the youth with the expertise needed for farming. As one of the Vesenium important objectives is to enhance and develop memorandum. I am happy to announce in the midst of your celebration that United Nations Alliance of Civilization is signing a memorandum of understanding with Medina Academy right here in, Mal in Malapuram. Your chairman attended the eighth global forum last month that I had the honor to host at the United Nations headquarters. The global forum provided a unique platform for exchanging ideas, engaging with existing and future partners, and reaffirming our commitment to the prevention and sustaining peace agenda. During the course of two days, we identified several crucial pathways to achieve our shared goals. During the discussions, participants identified challenges and good practices in building, restoring, and solidifying trust between people across cultural and religious lines. To this end, interreligious and intercultural dialogue is a useful, though often neglected, soft power tool to achieve greater mutual understanding and trust. One of the breakout sessions that took place at the 8th Global Forum was a panel on the role and responsibility of religious leaders and faith-based organization in building peaceful and inclusive societies. We engage with faith-based organization because they contribute to highlight 
that mutual understanding and interreligious dialogue constitute important conditions for the promotion of peace and stability. The work of the Alliance is to contribute as a soft power tool to develop a vision that would undermine the threats of cultural misunderstanding. The Alliance of Civilization's primary activities include several programming and projects. To mention just a few, fellowship program, Youth Solidarity Fund, and young peace builders in the Middle East and North Africa. In order to improve intercultural and interfaith dialogue between different groups of people, the Alliance concentrates its activities on its four pillars of focus, respectively, education, youth, migration, and the media. But these dialogue processes should not remain the sole privilege of experts. We have to continue to carve out space for community leaders, youth groups, and women to engage in interreligious and intercultural dialogue in order to support efforts at conflict prevention, reconciliation, and social cohesion. We are all too aware that despite unprecedented progress in the most recent history of humankind, there are still many threats in achieving peaceful coexistence between people of different cultures, religions, and ethnicities. For most of the world, today challenges are how to live together in a society that is increasingly complex and made of different cultures, different communities, different religions, and the need, therefore, for all people around the world to have this capacity to cope with diversity and respect the other. This change of attitude will promote understanding and cooperation among cultures. The current state of international affairs gives the platform and parallel importance. We, as the United Nations Alliance of Civilization, strengthen and deepen our relationship with civil society organization, particularly religious leaders and faith-based organization in three key areas, advocacy, capacity building, and knowledge management. I encourage Medina Academy to continue to strengthen dialogue among religious leaders and cultural diversity. I have, I have you with these parting words. We as one humanity have the ability to achieve if we are able to lead the world around us into a global society which is blessed with culture of peace that is cultivated by intercultural diversities, which are able to enhance our lives. This on its own should be able to bring a united strength with the will to survive. We must enrich our understandings of each other because it is our cultural difference that should be should be bring together, not tear us apart. I believe on our collective capacity to offer to this vicinium celebration a new imagination and determination for achieving our shared goal, a more harmonious society founded on a culture of peace, respect for human rights, and improved development for all. To all of you, congratulations.